So I have a question. Are you getting the right amount of fats on a ketogenic plan? You need fats for cellular membranes. All the cells have an outer membrane of fat. You need fat for the brain, the nervous system. All the different chemical reactions require certain amounts of fats. Uh, you need fats for hormones, okay? Stress hormones, sex hormones. You need fat to even make bile. So there's a lot of things in your body that require fats. Fat-soluble vitamins, vitamin A, D, E, and K. Uh, Omega-3 fatty acids, including DHA and EPA. So if you're on a ketogenic plan and your fat is mainly peanut butter, because sometimes when I talk to people, I find out the only fat that they're consuming is like peanut butter, which actually is high in omega-6, almost zero omega-3. And then coconut oil, well, that's fine, but it doesn't have omega-3 fatty acids. And a regular butter does not contain omega-3 fatty acids. It's a different type of fat. Olive oil is omega-6, and that's fine, but really the omega-3 is very, very important. DHA and EPA, vital for the nervous system and brain, because the last thing we want to do is get the benefits of a ketogenic diet, but then have deficiencies of omega-3 fatty acids, okay? So the best source of omega-3, uh, especially DHA and EPA, is seafood and fatty fish, okay? You can do sardines, you can do oysters, salmon, tuna, and there's a whole list of different types of fish that are really, really good. That's the best source right here. You can do a high quality fish oil too. Uh, virgin cod liver oil has a really good amount of omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, eggs, if it's pasture-raised, not commercial eggs, but pasture-raised, has a good amount of omega-3 fatty acids, DHA and EPA. And then we have grass-fed uh, dairy and grass-fed meats, which actually have four times the amount of omega-3 than grain-fed um, dairy and grain-fed meats. Now, there's just one little point about this because when it says grain finished, the omega-3 fatty acids go right down. So you want 100% grass-fed, ideally, okay? Now, flax has a certain type of fat that has to be converted into DHA, and I don't know how much converts. It's definitely not enough. So just realize that this is not a complete solution and it might leave you um, deficient of these healthy fats. Walnuts also uh, con contain some omega-3, and some of these fats have to be converted as well. Uh, there are certain types of algae that you can consume that are DHA as well. So just make sure that you're emphasizing these fats and you don't forget about them so you get the benefits of keto, but doing it healthily. Thanks for watching.